Hey guys, in this video I'm at a rental and I'm changing these metal rails on this awning to these 4x4 rails. So if you want to see how I do it, stick around. So this is just an overview of what the rails currently look like, or I should say did look like prior to me putting in the, the new posts or the new rail system. As you can see, these rails are screwed into this other long rail that runs across the length of the awning and uh, it is not secure at all and everything's kind of falling apart the rails themselves the screws that they were uh, attached to the concrete with they have rusted and have broken off so now there's stone that is kind of holding the rails in place as you can see and it's just all bad so Anyway, here we go, the beginning of uh, setting this up. So I just measure in about 20 inches, as you can see right here. So these posts are going to be a little bit further back than the other system. I just kind of want to have an overhang that way. Not so much water is going to be hitting these posts. And I'm going down to the other side of the porch area, and I just mark the same, same line, 20 inches. After I do that, I'll grab a chalk line, as you can see here stretch it from one end all the way to the other that way I have my basic straight line stretch it out put it to the ground reach over make sure that the string is taut and give it a snap that's pretty much it now you got a straight line all the way across so I pretty much put my posts in almost where each rail is not exactly but almost and here you can see what I used for anchoring the brackets down uh, for the post that I'm going to be mounting use a concrete drill bit kind of mark my spot and then I just drill into the concrete and if you want to see uh, what I thought about this drill there's another video of mine where I talk about this drill drill uh, had this hammer drill and how it worked out for me. So if you're interested in that, make sure you check that out. Right here, I'm using a vacuum cleaner to suck up the excess dust and everything. But what you'll notice is I eventually, instead of sucking it up out of the hole, I turn the vacuum onto its blow side and I think I get a lot more dust out of there. So that's what I end up using for the rest of this uh, project is just blowing all that dust out instead of trying to suck it up into that. And right there is where you see me doing that. Once my hole is drilled out, place my bracket over top of the hole and take my wedge anchor, set it in the hole, and I just give it a few taps, get it all the way into the hole. Make sure it's all nice and level with the line.
As you can see, you can still kind of adjust these brackets at the bottom by hammering them a little bit. Uh, which I, you know, you there's good and bad to that, I guess, but it allowed me to um, make small adjustments with that hammer if uh, something uh, kind of moved or uh, was a little bit off. So that did kind of come in handy for me. So I just kind of took that hammer and uh, moved that post a little bit. And here I put up my first two by four. I set it up top, made my mark. That way I'm all the way across on uh, D side there. Uh, and then the one that I was on, the side that I was, I began with, it goes halfway into that post. And after we get that side done, we do the same thing to the other side. And I do suggest uh, making these cuts um, individual. You can do them both at the same time. It probably will be fine, but there may be little odd mismatches. So I do suggest kind of doing everything individually. Now right here, what I'm doing is, after I put these up, I'm measuring across the top to see where they're gonna lie, and I use these these uh, screws here, these self-drilling roofing screws, to go in through the top of the roof into the two by fours, and that really solidifies everything. So this is where the measuring came in. I measured underneath the roof, climb up on top, measure that same distance again, and put the screw down into the two by four. So there's actually two measurements one to the near 2x4 and then one to the next 2x4 and I place that in there as well. And for the length of those 2x4s, uh, they're about, if I remember right, they're around 7 feet across. So I put in about 3 um, spots on those 2x4s. And I do that for out, throughout the whole process. So these two by fours I'm putting up right here will I'll do the same thing. So I just use the clamps to kind of hold those up there, get up there, put a couple screws. And I think I use about a, a three inch deck screw for this part of the process. But getting those clamps to hold those up nice and level makes it a lot easier. Once again, climbing up on top. I've already done my measurement underneath, put the tape measure on top, and mount it in. This is the last post, and I just mounted the same way as I did the others to the concrete. Now you can actually see me putting the post in, very easy to put in. But I cut these posts, obviously very uh, individual, uh, since that's kind of a, a wavy or corrugated type of roof, sometimes they matched with more of that higher part. Sometimes they were matching with the lower part. So I, I took measurement and I did those individually, not all the same length. What I was more worried about is that the two by fours are gonna to be touching the roof because that's really what's going to be holding that roof up and that's what's mounted to the roof. So here, I'm going all the way to the end, and I had a hard time because that side piece there was a little bit longer, so I cut this twice. I cut it so I could fit it inside that roofing area, and then I made a, a true measurement to fit that, that last post. Same thing with the other side. And this is this is where I say, make sure you kind of do these individually because you may end up with uh, some weird sort of uh, quarter inch spot that's a little bit off. So yeah, that's what I would suggest. And there you go. That's what it looks like with the rails still in place. Now I didn't get uh, pictures of me taking this rail system off, but it was almost like taking a few screws out and then just pulling it away from the porch because everything was rotted and rusty and it was all bad. But you can see it's pretty straight, not too bad, not too shabby, and I think that's gonna hold pretty darn well. Now here we have the rails have been removed and you can see the whole project. 
Now at the bottoms, I didn't show this in this video. If you guys would like to see me do it, uh, you can put uh, some boards around the bottom to really kind of dress it up. But this was the main project. This is the hardest part and I wanted you guys to see that. And that way, if you have something like this that you're looking to do, you can tr give this a try. So that is it for the project. Guys, please, I hope you like, I hope you subscribe and take the time to comment. Do you like this? Did you not like this? Is there a better way to do it? Do me a favor, put it in below. Thanks for watching.